can see you. I heard. Congratulations. I don't. I haven't brushed my teeth in two days. <sighs> I'm so scared they're not gonna find out what's wrong with you. No biggie. I'm fine. I feel so bad about all this. It's not my fault. No. No. It's not. But your father? He hates me. He's just pissed about his car. ALT and GGT are in the tank. Our antibiotics would not have caused this. She must have given him drugs. I wouldn't do that! It's not drugs! His liver is shutting down. What? What does that mean? It means he's all better. He's ready to go home. What? What do you think it means? You can't live without a liver. He's dying. What is your problem? Bum leg. What's yours? Hey, we don't have time for this. Let's go. Hemolytic anemia doesn't cause liver damage. Add the fact he's coughing blood, you've got three of the indicators of organ-threatening lupus. It's moving too fast. Could be hepatitis E. There's only been one case of hep E originating in the US since his history. It says he's been in and out of the country four times in the last year. You really think he's got hep E? No, I think lupus is way more likely. All right, then let's start him on IV cytoxin and plasmapheresis. No, we should rule out hep E. You just said it wasn't happy. I said lupus is way more likely, but if we treat for lupus and it is happy, he's toast. Exactly. But there isn't a treatment for hepatitis E. Either he'll get better on his own or he'll continue to deteriorate. Yeah. I went to medical school too. Start him on solumendrol. If he's got happy, that's only going to make him worse. Not as much. It's Goldilocks, people. It won't hurt him so much that it'll kill him, and it won't hurt him so little that we can't tell. It'll hurt him. Just right. Ouch. Keith? What's wrong? What's happening? Oh, get off. Keith? It's Dr. Chase. Where does it hurt? Jules, no! He's hallucinating. Is this one the medicine? We haven't started the medicine. We're in the hospital. Hey, Keith, Keith, there's hey, nothing hey, on hey. you. Keith? 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 Hey. You okay, buddy? I think I went the bed. Oh, don't worry about it. It's, okay. it's fine. Let's get you up. Oh, God! He's had a major bleed. Red, red blood per rectum. I, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. He's going into hypovolemic shock. Pressure 60, heart rate's 140. We need an angiography. Stat! Could I donate part of my liver? Sorry, you're a different blood type. So we just wait? I'm afraid so. And hope for someone to die. Who's Jules? Dr. House, you should get back to your office. Jules. There's no Jules in history. It was a hallucination. Of what? Our cat. Does this matter? No, I'm sorry. We'll continue the transfusions and the treatment for the anemia and liver failure while we're waiting for a donor. How long can he wait? Not long. I don't think this is lupus. It's lupus. Come on, let's just go to... Your fourth diagnostic criterion of lupus is psychosis. This is just a kid missing his cat. He was being attacked by an animal that wasn't in the room. That's psychosis. There's a difference between psychosis and hallucination. So if he was imagining a fake cat, it'd be lupus, but since it was a real cat, it's not. Take your damn pills. Psychosis requires... There is no cat. Jules is dead. You have a dead family pet. And you never mention it. Nice family history. Family history is asking about family members, meaning people related to the patient. Let's go. How did the cat die? Can you get him out of here? <sighs> Dr. House, come on, let's what go. What happened to the cat? Old age. She was 15 years old. When? About a month ago. Does this have anything to do with... Where'd she sleep? With Keith. This is not a cat allergy. And it's not lupus. Where is Jules? He has acute naphthalene toxicity. Naphthalene? You, you, you're talking about mothballs? Nope. Termites. They create naphthalene to protect their nests, which I'm assuming is rather large and inside all four walls of his bedroom and home. 
And your assumption is based on what? The autopsy I just conducted on his pet cat. Call Cuddy and security. You are not removing that kid's liver. Now! Have you completely lost your mind? No, but I have been feeling a little sick lately. Achoo! Ugh. There's no way we can do this surgery now. You think? You've already cost him his liver. Don't kill him, too. Why are you so eager to cut into a healthy kid? Healthy? He's in the toilet. He just needs some chicken soup. I'm telling you, Ronnie, to re-scrub. We're doing this transplant. No, you're not. You said it. If Keith's symptoms had an environmental cause, they would have disappeared as soon as he got here. They've only gotten worse. If the food here wasn't one step below Rikers Island, he would have gotten better. He's lost 14 pounds. Yeah, sure. This is nothing but a dietary thing. Naphthalene is a gas, a fat-soluble gas. Kid breathes it in and gets stored in his fat cells. Outside the hospital, his body burned protein and carbs for energy. And the naphthalene stayed in fat. But once the car accident put him in the hospital, and he started losing weight, his body had to get its energy somewhere else. It started to burn fat. The floodgates opened, the poison poured into his system. So getting away from the poison is what poisoned him? Getting away from his dad's meatloaf is what's killing him. You want to explain to me why you stopped the surgery? Oh, my God! Oh my God! I want him locked up! Hey! Take it easy. Your cat did not die of old age. He died of massive internal bleeding and acute liver failure caused by naphthalene poisoning. The exact same thing your son has. You lie to me. You mess up my son's surgery, and now you expect me to trust you? Give me 24 hours. We'll pump your son full of calories. That liver is going to somebody right now. We're doing that surgery. You do the surgery. <laughs> You'll be killing a mother of four. Mother of three. I was guessing. Like you are now? Naphthalene poisoning is the best explanation we have for what's wrong with your son. It explains the internal bleeding, the hemolytic anemia, the liver failure. It also predicts what'll happen next. If you do the surgery, he's gonna lay on that table for 14 hours while his body continues to burn fat and release poison into his system. Either way, I did you a favor. He's awake now. He got a chance to say goodbye. I think you should trust Dr. House. down and his red count is climbing. It means you made the right call. His liver is healing. He's gonna be just fine. <laughs>